Okay, gonna do a set of eight minute games for this casual chess guy answer to chess workshop. It's a bit of a mouthful. So hopefully we can take our time a little bit with the moves and break down where we're going. So attacking key spaces, again, try to manage the center. We try and obliterate the center if we can to make space for our pieces to mobilize. So we'll capture the knight and we'll develop the bishop, attacking the weak pawn in front of the king. And we will castle on this occasion. And just develop the knight. And then the bishop, x ring through to the bishop, through to the queen. Taking the bishop off the board, simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. Now this pawn doesn't have any protection on, so we could slide across with the queen just to target it. Looks like an odd move, but if the opponent takes the time, they're probably going to do this or bring the queen just to support the pawn. And they have done, they've gone this way, protecting the pawn. Anything else that we want to consider, there is this, just takes, but owning the file with the rooks is key. So let's see if we can own this file. It's no open files apart from the opponents owning the half open file. They've done a bit of a non-looking move with the king. So it looks like they are, they've dried up with what they're thinking of doing. I'm going to push this pawn here so we can lever onto the knight. Their stronghold is that they have a half open file. We really want to try and get this open. That's the sort of thought process that's going in my head. They're obviously levering to attack our queen. So we'll attack the knight first. If they do attack our queen, because it's the higher piece, we'll have to move it. So the pawn is still going to be on the knight. It doesn't mean we've won anything per se. The bishop doesn't have any protection behind it, but they don't need to do that. They could just go here. So the knight is currently protecting uh, the bishop. And it's even Stevens at the minute. So if we did take the knight with the pawn, our knight would also be on this pawn here but they would get our bishop for free. So I'm going to take, so the knight then bounces back and takes. I'm keeping it simple. It probably might have worked out for us. I'm going to take the rook because it's got a check on the king. Queen has to take, so then we do get this pawn here, or we get this pawn. So I'm going to take this pawn, because that's what we were targeting earlier on. So just be mindful, they may look to try and set themselves up with doubling and then attacking our queen so it's going for an x-ray through with the rook onto our queen we can target this pawn we can target their queen i think targeting their queen might work just get it, just to get the exchanges off but do we lose this pawn we go across here we expect the queen to come across we take with a check either the knight takes and then This pawn is not protected, so we're having to rush back again and protect the pawn. Does it feel good? Mm. Let's go with the simple. That's the only thing I can think. There are other moves I could have done, but I think just going with this one, queen goes there. We don't have to take. Knight's protecting this pawn, so I'm just thinking, do we take or not? Do we come across and attack the knight, rook? I'm going to take, and the king does actually take. Well, okay. So we can, no, let's just protect the pawn. Keep it simple, don't get carried away. So it's got a two on one, so I'm going to push the pawn up a little bit more. I can picture this coming here, attacking this pawn. It's also got a 2 on one here. So we could go and attack their pawn. I think the rook is probably looking for an exchange because with the knight takes. Oh, they're not. They're attacking our rook. Behind the knight is the pawn. 
So there's a lot of take, take, take type situation going on here. I think it's fairly even Stevens at the minute. Materially it is, but positionally we might just have the edge. Uh, oh, so he's actually coming for our knight. So I'm going to attack the rook. I think they'll drop because they'll still maintain the attack. So piece for a piece type thing. So if we push this pawn up. And if the rook takes, then we get a check on the king and get a promotion. If the king comes here, uh, we can just move the knight. But I don't think it's going to win us anything, is it? So we may lose the pawn. Depends on what the opponent does next. They come here. They're thinking we probably still... And they've resigned. Ah, more in our favour than we thought. <laughs> ah, I'll wear them apples. Excellent. The answer to chess. Okay, I've done a 10 minute game now in the answer to chess workshop. This is the final game in the answer to chess workshop. So let's see if we can put it all in. Let's just make space for castling. The opponent's doing bullet moves. Let's just castle. And let's just bring the bishop out. Maybe not to there. Let's just bring it here. And get the... No, let's push this pawn first and then bring the knight. So let's try and manage this center. As we know, we like to try and obliterate if we can. Um, shall we do not do what the opponent wants us to do? I mean, they want us to open up this area here, taking the pawn. They've freely given that up. So I'm going to push past. I think they'll just continue because the motor set to do that with the pawn. Bit of lazy man's chess if in my eyes. Let's attack the knight. And let's take the knight off the board. So I'm feeling fairly comfortable with the position. It's attacking our pawn. There's nothing that really can protect it. Bishop can take, but the rook's going to take. So what we're going to do is let that happen. And if the bishop does come here, the knight takes. We can't take because the bishop is protecting. Is there anything else regarding this position? Get the knight involved. Still takes the pawn. Any other position that we can look at? Mm, don't think there's anything else that we can do. I'm trying to fashion if we can get to his king, but it might be one. Knight takes. Queen can't come here because the knight is there. Right. Let's play this backwards. They've got the pawn. We can hit their head. Knight takes. Bishop takes. Let's hit the pawn. Look at the flicking going on. Crazy. Okay, let's take the pawn. Criminally even. Queen's looking to be exchanged. Nope. Bishop's attacking this pawn. Could bring the bishop back. Could just take the queen off the board. I'm going to take the queen off the board. I'm going to, ooh, it's lucky he took with that. If he'd have taken with that, would have got a pawn. So let's bring the bishop here, looking for that improved position. The opponent is playing fast. This is why I'm hoping they're not really finding the better positions. Um, we bring the rook here. I am looking to try and get these pawns double, but he's moved the knight. Knight's coming back in, attacking, look, maybe he's coming here, maybe, maybe, maybe. That would be nice, x ray through to here, but we don't have anything supporting that. Could hit with the pawn, but it's blocking our bishop. Where's he going with this knight? I think my knight needs to get into the game a little bit. It's blocking everything off, but we can still come here and attack the bishop. So I'm going to continue doing that. 
because obviously it must be a little bit annoying for them. That's why they've brought the bishop. Um, we can take, and the rook's taken. So the rook's going to be leaned on, but his rook is then going to come across. Oh, it can't, can it? <laughs> it can't because the bishop's blocking at the minute. So we'll hit the rook. Rook's gone back. We can take the bishop. We can bring our bishop here, x ray through to their bishop. But we don't really want to get the pawns going like this. Shall we just take the bishop off the board? Let's just take it off the board. Let's double up. What have they got? A dark square bishop? Yes. Let's double up with the rooks. It's hitting pawns. Like I said, they're moving very fast. They're, you know, they're doing moves but i'm hoping the smallest of detail maybe i mean we might get a draw i'm not adverse to getting for going for the draws as you know so they're very quick with the moves we're going to attack the bishop and that should be let's attack the bishop again Doesn't have to exchange, like I say, it's just going to go backwards and forwards. Right. So let's bring the bishop here. See if we're going to get this. And their bishop's doing the same. Let's attack the bishop again. Flicking, flicking, flicking. Little flicker. This is the answer to chess. So can the answer to chess beat the flicker? Let's take. They'll be looking to do. No, they're not doing that. Let's take. It's farming here. We're looking for the simple back rank check thing. Looks like they may have left the game. Looks like the answer to chess has beaten the flicker. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent. The answer to chess, the casual chess guy way.